So I'm currently uh, awaiting a phone call from ITVs this morning. <laughs> it's so weird saying that. And they phoned me three days ago asking would I appear on the show next week. Uh, well, no, tell a lie. Uh, they they rung they rung Adam's phone because his phone number is the one that's on social media, and they said, "Would I be willing to do a TV interview um, from my Harry Potter room?" And I was like, "Yeah, yeah, definitely, absolutely." And I explained what their backdrops like. Obviously, as you've all seen it with the shelves and so on. And they were like, yeah, yeah, that's absolutely great. And um, we'll let you know close to the time what's going to happen. It'll be obviously last Wednesday it was meant to be. And then they messaged me an hour later saying, would I come into the show? Would I come into this um, on set, uh, this morning TV studio uh, on Tuesday next week? And I was like, Ugh. I feel sick. I feel sick. I feel sick. Anyway, didn't hear anything back for a while. And then they messaged me this morning saying, can they have a chat with me in about an hour? Anyway, she rung about 10 minutes later and said, just to double check, are you still okay if we do go ahead that you're coming into the studio, blah, blah, blah. I was like, yeah, okay, that's fine. Um, and then I, she said, okay, well, I'll ring you back soon and then we can have another chat about it, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, she rang me about an hour later and said that they were just going through like finalizing everything and what would I be happy to take up? So I, I was on the show seven years ago in March with Tom Felton and a lovely lady called Lorraine Gearside. And um, I was asked to take up some of my stuff, but as you know, I've obviously got a lot of items and that was quite a lot last time. I, I, a, a courier came, collected it all and took it up to the studios for me and I just went up by train. And me and Monica went up by train and you can see that in the link above, that meeting obviously when I was on, on TV. But I never, I wasn't a YouTuber back then. This is different now. <laughs> I'm a YouTuber with like over 90,000 followers across social media. So it's like, it's a completely different kettle of fish now, you know. I was really laid back last time. And yet this time I'm absolutely pooping my pants, okay. Um, so they asked for a list of things I'd be happy to take up. And luckily a lot of my stuff um, can be, it can travel, it's okay. And they'd obviously cover insurance and everything. And, and obviously I've I've got like life-size figurines and stuff. So that are quite strong. And so I said, you know, I'll give them a long list of things that, that I can take with me, including like costumes and stuff. Uh, so it's like, oh my God. And now I've got to wait till the end of the day to hear more what's going on. Because obviously this is all for the Harry Potter 20th anniversary. And they're talking about the reunion and so on. We don't know what's happening yet. So I'm I'm incredibly nervous. I'm incredibly sick and waiting. And I'm going to dress up for it. I'm going to wear a costume. Uh, so I'm really excited about wearing a costume. Um, but I won't tell you what costume. You'll have to wait and see. But I've put on weight as well. So I wasn't sure if my costumes would fit me. But it does fit me. So it's fine. Uh, but I'm on like a crash diet at the moment, really healthy food, you know, stuff like that, stuff I don't normally eat uh, to try and get myself feeling a bit better about myself. My skin, I've broken out in dermatitis, which I get when I'm worried. So I've broken out here and here, uh, which I haven't had for well over a year. Uh, but I got my dermatitis cream, thank God, my steroids cream. So I'm trying to use that at the moment. Um, but yeah, my God, I'm so nervous. I am so, so, so nervous. So it's all been confirmed. I am off to London on Monday. I've had a spray tan done so my face is looking <laughs> a little bit, a little bit browner, thank God. So I've got a courier come in at between five and six in the morning on Monday to pick up some of my collection. And then I'm catching the train then uh, Monday afternoon, heading to London. Obviously I get picked up at the train station, taken to my hotel and then from my hotel then in the morning on Tuesday to this morning studios and uh, and then do the interview and then come back then straight after the interview. So it's going to be a bit crazy, but it's going to be worth it. I did ask if I could tell people. I have kind of hinted on social media about it. But uh, we'll have to wait and see, won't we? And 
hopefully it won't go too crazy. I really hope it goes well. Whew, I have finished packing. Um, this is all of it that is going to uh, this morning, tomorrow morning at nine o'clock. Everything you see here. Oh, it's okay. Hey baby, hey princess. I've had my spray tan, looking nice and tanned. And then in the front room, the house is a tip because I have been packing, packing, packing. Now this is only a small percentage of my collection as you guys know. Um, but yeah, so this is enough just to display everything that's got something in it. I am exhausted. I feel like I'm doing the record again, but trust me, this is much easier because I don't have to unpack any of this. I don't have to load it, I don't have to take it to London. They're doing all of that for me. Um, and then obviously displaying it there, doing the interview, and then they'll be packing it all back up and bringing it back to me either Tuesday or Wednesday. But I am, I could sleep for Britain. I wasn't sure if I was going to get it done in time because I'm getting up really early tomorrow morning when they come. It's, I think he's coming between half eight and nine and I'll, I'll, Dan will be here to help me pack in the van along with this other guy, whoever he is or she is. Uh, sorry, that was quite sexist to me. Could be both. Um, but uh, yeah, so, oh my God. I was speaking to uh, my contact at this morning all day and um, she asked would I dress up and I was like come on now <laughs> don't be stupid of course I'm gonna dress up so uh, I had dressing up and you'll have to wait and see what I'm dressing up as but it's one of my favorite costumes I've been to Swansea today I'm Primark shopping just a few little bits none of it's coming with me mind uh, it was just for the house but um, yeah oh my god so off to London tomorrow. Wow, it's so crazy. Boxes first. So good. It doesn't look as much now. I've put, we've put it all in the van. Yes. <laughs> So my collection left this morning. Bless the gentleman who uh, was uh, who's come to pick it up. Huge wheelbase fan, uh, but he was so gentle with my collection. He was so wonderful. Wouldn't leave until I I was hundred percent happy with the way it was placed in the van. Um, everything is perfectly secure. Everything's been bubble wrapped. Even creatures to doing a, a little trip to London. Bless him, and he's all wrapped up in my mum's blanket. So, oh my life, I am so tired. I've got an hour and 15 minutes and then I'm off to the train station. So I'm gonna have a really big lunch and um, very healthy salad though, because I'm trying to be good. And then, uh, oh my God. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna get myself sorted and head off to the train station. So my suitcase <laughs> weighs so much. I've borrowed my mother-in-law's suitcase and it's like a huge, like, you know, travel one. And uh, one you would not have in, in the hot, you know, it would be in the hold of a plane. And I think it probably weighs about 30 kilos, but it's got everything in it that I normally take with me, including a couple of spare costumes in case I change my mind tomorrow. Um, but oh my God, it weighs so much. I'm actually watching this morning. I don't normally watch the show. I, it, at Christmas time, yes. Um, but I'm I'm watching it this morning to kind of get an idea. I I, be, I used to watch it loads when I was a kid or when I was a teenager, especially when you're like a single mum and you've got a baby running around the house like a complete idiot, you know, Monica. Uh, so I would watch it then. But uh, I'm um, it's very 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 Christmassy on set, isn't it? It looks really nice. So I got a phone call now with uh, one of the researchers at this morning about tomorrow's interview. My costume's all done. I've plucked and done my eyebrows. I've de black edited my skin, uh, which is just still not looking brilliant, but I haven't got any makeup on. So I've whitened my teeth loads over the last couple of days. So uh, I think I'm ready, I think. So I'm currently on the platform at Nice waiting for my train. I got a little bit of a wait yet. It's another 20 minutes. Oh my God. I got my ginormous suitcase and uh, yeah, almost forgot my ticket, left it in the machine like an idiot, but uh, you know, typical me, innit? <laughs> At least I didn't say discount toads. I just gotta get on now and 
hope that my journey is seamless. Thank God for the train. I have to drive because my back is killing today. I packed some heat pads just for my back because it kills so much. That's me train. That's them and catching. Well, hello, hello, hello. I am in my hotel room. Uh, I am exhausted. <laughs> I'm so tired. Uh, so let's show you around, shall we? So for those of you who aren't sure, I'm staying at The Hilton uh, in uh, Kensington. This is where my mum is from, believe it or not. So it's not the actual hotel, obviously, The Hilton, but we have a lovely mirror kind of gorgeous service in here. And uh, underneath here, shall I do some sort of like a... Oh, and today we have... We have lovely tea and coffee, which I'm going to be using lots of. Um, we have all oh, fantastic, we have an ironing board because I have a funny feeling my bow batten costume is going to be needed to iron. And uh, oh, we have a bathrobe. I have a bathrobe. Apparently my room was upgraded um, and I don't quite understand why, but I'm not complaining. Um, we have lovely, lovely bottles which will be coming with me and because uh, I always take the bottles and things from the hotels I stay at and if I need to I give them to the kids if they want them. We have lovely fresh towels which I will be using. I will be having a shower first thing in the morning or maybe tonight. I don't know. Look at the size of the suitcase, right? Look at that. You could probably fit half of my collection in that, right? So now we go to the bed. Look at the bed. We have a king size bed. How wonderful is that? Oh no, hang on, do we have a light? Do we have a light? Does this light actually work? Am I like, you know, am I imagining? Do I have to, oh, is that it? No, we don't have a light that works this side. Quite sucky, but I can cope because I am grateful for everything I get to do as I love my job. And as you can see, this is something I'm very, very, very lucky to have. So, hi guys. I wish there was more light in here. That's the only thing, because obviously it's very dark. Um, there is air conditioning, which I will be using because I get really hot in bed, uh, but apparently that doesn't work if that window is open and I have opened it as soon as I come in so oh look it shows this morning on here this morning at 10 a.m watch out for me um, and then we have phone calls we have people who have we got contacting us on the phone today we have Re, who is my contact at this morning we have a reminder of a competition which I need to talk about later on Monica bless so I'm going to speak to her in a sec so oh my god look at me I look like something out of you know what right I look like I look like the thing out of the shining the guy Jack Nicholson's character don't I don't I here yeah, Johnny oh my god that's so scary <laughs> it's because of the lighting yeah Right, so this wonderful lady who's slightly obsessed with Harry Potter, where are my board and book, my board and book, t shirt look, obviously to do everyone proud. Um, I am gonna get myself in something a little more comfortable, like leggings, not jeans, and take my bum downstairs and eat, because I'm starving. And apparently breakfast is served at half six tomorrow, so I will be down first thing in the morning to, to have my breakfast. I'm gonna be up about six. I'll quickly do my makeup. Actually, no, I'll leave my makeup. Anyway, I'll figure it out in the morning. Once I've got everything positioned out and everything, I've planned all my, my day for tomorrow. Look, hiya. Um, I will then, um, yeah. So, watch the space. <laughs> so tired. I had the most amazing dinner. 
Um, I had a lovely, uh, like a, um, what was it? Like a, it was a burger, but it was, it was double, like a double burger thing, but the sauce in it, I just, I ate it so quick. And the chips, oh my God, so chunky and crispy, yum. Um, so absolutely just lush. Everything's ready for tomorrow. My hair straighteners have been straightened. My hair straighteners have been straightened. <laughs> my hair extensions have been straightened. Um, my costume is still in my suitcase because I'll get changed when I'm at the studio. Just FYI, this vlog was not my idea, okay? Uh, a few people have said you need to do a vlog of the experience. Sophie, for one, from the Forgotten Corner. So look out for um, loads of products tomorrow because you are just going to love what I've brought. There's so much to look at. And of course, it's stuff that you guys probably didn't even know I had. So uh, yeah, make sure that you check it all out and see if you can spot which companies pieces there are because I've got all different companies with me um, from Noble Collection and Warner Brothers. Obviously I've got the Forgotten Corner, I've got Encantatrix Apothecary with me. Uh, what else have I got? I've got the Locked Vault. Oh my God, I've got so much. So uh, yeah, you guys are gonna, gonna love it. I've got Mission Impossible Protocol, a Ghost Protocol on. I think I've only seen this once. I've got hair conditioner in my hair ready to have a shower tomorrow. So um, my hair feels really, really good and soft. Um, I promise I wasn't going to eat wheat because I needed to kind of, you know, not get all bloated. What did I do? Add wheat this evening. There wasn't any kind of wheat free option, so it was fine. Um, the hotel is huge. It is absolutely massive. It's in the words of some Welsh comedian, it's Juju, it's Jojo, Jojo. I actually bought some false lashes to wear. So I don't quite know how that's gonna turn out. I used to wear false lashes all the time, but um, I stopped wearing them for ages and ages and ages because I could take ages to put them in. But I have bought a lovely set because I wanted to get my eyelashes permed and dyed before I came, but they couldn't fit me in. So. My mascara is terrible, it's really dry, so let's try this and see how it goes. Do you know what? It's the morning of the interview. I've just had a shower and I think this is how I should have my hair. Do you think? Yeah? Do you think that would be accepted on one of the biggest daytime TV shows in the UK, do you think? I think I certainly rock it, I do, yeah. I am pooping my pants. I am generally pooping my pants. I really am shitting myself. Well, that's me done. I am waiting for my car. Oh God, I'm so nervous, it's unbelievable. I've just checked out of my hotel. ITV have taken care of everything. Thank you very much. Uh, oh my God, right, okay. Watch this space, guys, because um, I wish I could 
have a drink <laughs> you know something to calm my nerves but I can't some Dutch courage I can't never mind mm -hmm. on a side note though I'm wearing the coat I bought with my mum from my mum um, after she passed she left me some money so I bought a coat I bought my coat with me I bought my mum with me my ring um, I'm just waiting for my Addison Lee car now so so nervous it's unbelievable this is crazy it's like the you know to appear on this morning once in your lifetime is massive to appear twice <laughs> you know that's crazy um that's incredibly lucky so i feel so blessed right now it's weird because my mum's from kensington right and it's weird she's with me and i'm back in kensington it's really strange but yeah i'm 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 pooping my pants i'm not gonna lie i really am I'm boiling, but my saviour is here. It's Sue from Fashion in this morning. You're gonna love, oh, your sparkle. I saw your pants earlier, they were amazing. You wait until later. I had sparkle envy, serious sparkle envy. I'm on soon, I'm pooping my pants, but I'm gonna chill for five minutes, so watch this space. Ah! I'm just walking the corridors for a bit. Look at all this, look at all this. Isn't that crazy? So amazing. I'm a little bit shiny, so I need to kind of, I think, get a top up done. But uh, oh my goodness. <sighs> Nerves is just understatement. Absolute understatement. It's crazy. But this place is massive. I was here seven years ago. Well, what I didn't realise is it's actually a different place now. Completely different part of, um, of the Thames near here. So look at that. So crazy. I daren't turn the camera around because I don't want to get in trouble for filming people, so I'm doing it bit by bit. But uh, hi darling. <laughs> so crazy here. So 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 crazy. Right, I am going to turn this off now and just chill for five minutes before I have to go upstairs. <sighs> Taking loads of photos of my collection because it looks so amazing. But uh, yeah, this is crazy. This is this is obviously the backstage part. So cool here. So uh, I will see you guys very very soon. Christmas as the Harry Potter movie franchise celebrates its 20th anniversary with a very special reunion show. I have to say, Look I, at wish we just had, I wish <laughs> we just had a shot of you watching that trailer um, because the excitement was second to none. Uh, well, we are joined now by Victoria McLean, who claims to, I don't think you need to claim because I think I've witnessed it myself, uh, to be one of the world's biggest Harry Potter fans. And she's bought some, and you've just told me this is 30, about 30%. About 30%-ish, of of yeah. I you would collection. fill this entire room. I mean, well, we, we love having it here this morning, so <laughs> thanks for uh, bringing that all down. Down. Now, you are a huge, huge Harry Potter fan. Yeah. You know, self proclaimed super yeah. fan. When did your love 
of Harry Potter begin? It was in 2001 I heard that the film was coming out and there was... I'm not one for following trends, believe it or not, I know. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but oh, I you're thought, bang on trend in that. Well, I, I try. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I, I saw on Blue Peter and it was on there and J.K. Rowling was being interviewed and I thought, do you know what, I was pregnant with my son, I couldn't leave my bed because the pregnancy was a bit difficult. I got the book and I read it and after the, reading the first book, The Philosopher's Stone, uh, Smarties edition, that was it. I, it was my magic had come to life. But that came out in 97, and yeah. you watched the first film, 2001? That's right, Why yes. was there a gap? Were you not interested in it the was book? The, people were talking about it, and I'm like, no, I don't... And I was dyslexic. I'm autistic as well, so dyslexia, for me, was, you know, reading a book was a really hard task. Yeah. yeah. But I, just, I was determined. I couldn't do anything, you know? There was no kind of, you know, Facebook and stuff back then. Uh -huh. So I, uh, yeah, I read it, and that was it. I was... And did you start hit. collecting straight away? Or no, did it I take, didn't. Was, it, was there something that ignited your passion for Harry mm. Potter? I think it's because I started getting little bits here and there. There was, excuse me, there was things that came out in early 2000, 2001, but they were based on the books rather than the right. films. Right, OK. And so I kind of picked up little bits here and there, you know, but they didn't look like Daniel Radcliffe, Emma Watson, Rupert Grint and so on. And so I... I saw, I got this book and it explained this beautiful snow globe called the San Francisco, from the San Francisco Music Company. And it was Harry pushing his trolley through the platform nine and three quarters. Yes. And the, uh, the Hogwarts Express going around the bottom playing the music. And I was determined to find it. And when I found it and it arrived at home, I think that was kind of the trigger. And then I lost my mum seven years ago and she was a big Harry Potter fan. And so when I was kind of collecting, it was also a little kind of nod to her yes, as well. Yeah. That's one of my excuses, sorry, mum. But I really, <laughs> I needed an excuse. But I, I, yeah, I mean, look at these beautiful items that these companies produce. I can't go to Hogwarts, so I brought Hogwarts to me. Um, well, you've brought it to us today. <laughs> yeah, thankful. you really have. Why, You're welcome. Can I, can I ask why, I mean, I've seen some of the Harry Potter films, uh, I apologise. I haven't now, seen a whole film from start to finish. I, I, di I dip I'm in. I'm with you. I dip I'm in, so I'm too. so sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. sorry Why me. are there <laughs> so many ones? Uh, I apologise. I haven't now, seen a whole film from start to finish. I, I, di I dip I'm in. I'm with you. I dip I'm in, so I'm too. so sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. sorry Why me. are there <laughs> so many ones? Well, they started bringing out, obviously, a couple of the original ones. Noble Collection started releasing them. Um, and then the more the films became kind of a big draw for fans, the more people wanted to buy, and then the more characters were released. So not all of these ones were released in the beginning. So, of course, you've got the t two, main, two of yes. the three main characters that you have, you can, you know, pull them out and give them away. I'm, sc Harry's I'm scared to touch anything. I'm just, I'm just a bit frightened to know how special yeah, this is. Nice. Yeah, look. So, that's Hermione's. Hermione Grange is this one. That's it, and that's Harry's. Nice. <laughs> hey, you never know. You can have you a one duel know, later. Babe. You, you never, never know. know. You never know. <laughs> now, so listen, is this, is this, is this become pretty much a full-time job for you? It has. I mean, I've got a YouTube channel under my own name, Victoria McLean, and I'm on social media oh, as well. Again. Oh, my go God, on. yeah, Victoria McLean, come on, subscribe to me, come yeah, on. Yeah, get in there. Uh, like, comment below. But this is stuff. it. Yeah. But I, I, I get to share my passion. I mean, how many people do you know who have a passion that I feel for Harry Potter that actually gets to... Yeah. I mean, he gets paid to do that as a job. Absolutely. You know, so I get to share this a magic community with everybody. And for me, people say, why is it so popular still 20 years on? It's the community, I think, because right. we are such a wonderful family of And the films followers. are great, and you well, can watch them whenever. This is exactly true, and the books are better because right. there's far more in them. Mm -hmm. But the films are amazing. I mean, that reunion that's coming up, there's not a, a, a tweet or a, an Instagram post that isn't about that. Well, I, I, I want to ask you, because I know that you... Like, this is obviously a real passion of yours and it's, and it's made its way throughout your whole life, not just the fact that you collect memorabilia. And I know that your husband is a big Star Wars fan. <laughs> yeah. You are a huge Harry Potter fan and your wedding was actually based on the films. It was. So I, I, I'm just so curious, how does one put on a Star Wars, Harry Potter themed wedding? How does that look? Yeah, because I want to know, how can those two worlds collide? Yeah. Oh, they Is can, Vernon, they can. And really? Rochelle, they are amazing. Um, well, I look, had we a, a year... Here, I had a... Oh, that was the sword of Gryffindor borrowed, I have to say. I did let him have the cake. <laughs> 
<laughs> he had the cake. I let him have the cake. It's right. a Star Wars Was that a Death Star cake. cake? No, it's when... Oh, my gosh, I'm going to get shouted at. That's when they're in the ice oh, planet. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, yeah, and, and he, right that's it. And that was from Hobbycraft, that castle, the Hogwarts castle. They made it and I was allowed to borrow it for the wedding. Oh, my God. So that was amazing. But I had a whole year... I had a budget of £7,000. I had a whole year and I made almost everything. Oh, well Except done. the cake and Fabulous. obviously the dress. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, Star Wars and Harry Potter actually worked really well. I wanted to kind of... He means the world to me. He is my song mate. And so Aww. I wanted to give him, you know, half of, of the love. So I gave him Star Wars and I had the Harry Potter. But it was our anniversary yesterday of eight years and I still feel like I'm in the honeymoon period. Oh, oh congratulations. We were very, very happy. But... Did your guest turn up at the reception in fancy dress or was it normal? <laughs> no, we did tell his mother that she what? had to wear Princess Leia costume, though, just, oh, I... just to be on the horrible side. <laughs> but no, she didn't. <laughs> Well, I love this, and yeah, your, I mean, your passion is working for you. That is, yeah, that for is you. for sure. Absolutely love it. Yeah, and you can catch the reunion show on New Year's Day on Sky. Yes. Lovely. He's, <laughs> he's already losing. Ready to go. Ready to go. You enjoy that. You enjoy. Thank, that. Thank you. you very much Thank for coming. You. That was amazing. It was absolutely amazing. I. Um, I don't know what to say about it. That was so good. From the second I arrived at the studios to the second I left, it was wonderful. It was so well done. Everyone was so incredible. And I felt so welcome. And then to actually, not realize, but actually sit on the this morning sofa, that this morning sofa was crazy. I didn't expect that at all. I'm on my way home now. I think it's safe to say I'm probably gonna sleep well tonight. I got a couple of hours travel now. So probably be home about three-ish, hopefully. <sighs> what a day. What an amazing day. Thank you so much for Vernon and Rochelle for being so welcoming. And thank you to all the This Morning cast and crew, or crew for being so fantastic um, yeah and thank you for making this incredibly Harry Potter obsessed person incredibly proud to follow the, the franchise <sighs> yeah it's been a good day my content take a look at this video right here or this video right here don't forget to like and subscribe